Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Tosh TV. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Trash bag Tuesday. Uh huh. Trash bag Tuesday. This Tuesday, I'm giving Trash Bag Tuesday to rapper icon Megan V. Stallion. Uh, the rapper this past Saturday, she was on Saturday Night Live. She was doing a performance when her and her dancer stood in front of a backdrop that said, protect black women. To me, that wasn't the issue. Um, about halfway through her performance, that's, the sounds of gunshots rang out, Megan Thee Stallion and her dancers paused. As audio recording from Malcolm X's 1962 speech, Who Taught You to Hate Yourself played in the background. If you guys ain't up to speed on Malcolm X's speech, I will say a little bit for you. Malcolm X says, the most disrespected, unprotected, neglected person in America is the black woman. Who taught you to hate your texture of your hair, the color of your skin, the shape of your nose? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? That's a little bit of what Malcolm X said. But to me, that wasn't the issue. Megan Thee Stallion then played audio clips of Tamika Mallory saying, the attorney, uh, attorney General of Kentucky, Daniel Cameron, is no different than the sellout Negroes that sold our people into slavery. Uh, I, I, I didn't dig it. Before finishing the song, Megan Thee Stallion also spoke out herself, demanding the protection of black men and women. Megan Thee Stallion says, we needed to protect our black women and love our black women, because at the end of the day, we need our black women. That's the truth. She said we need to protect our black men and stand up for our black men. Because at the end of the day, we're tired of seeing hashtags of our black men. Megan Thee Stallion fails to mention how she contributes to keeping the black man and the black woman in the sucking place with lyrics like these. I'm going to give you guys some examples of how Megan Thee Stallion keeps black America in the sunken place. Megan says in one lyric, I got a stank ass walk and a reckless ass mouth. I don't give a fuck. And my shit's so tight when we fuck my pussy talk. My pussy talk. I don't even say what's up. I just tell him what I want. What I want. Because I got another nigga that gonna do it if he don't. Ah. Here's another one. Moved out the hood, but I still throw that bitch up. Came in the club with a click full of shooters. Niggas get stiff, they call me Medusa. I don't fuck without that Medulla. She also states, I'm on some real ratchet shit. Pull up to your crib, scope out everything. Tell my niggas where it is. Ratchet ass shit. A ratchet ass bitch. Hit a lick on a nigga in a ratchet ass whip. Riding with a street nigga with that ratchet on his hip. Oh, Megan Thee Stallion, you can't be talking about revolution and promoting the black prosperity in America while you're singing or rapping about ratchet ass shit. Anyway, Megan Thee Stallion, you promote the destruction of black America with praising black women to have sex for money. Making it a norm for black women to have sex with multiple partners without giving a fuck. Making it a normal for black women to pop that pussy in a club for quote-unquote real niggas. You talk a lot of gang-gang shit when it comes to black men. As you like to call them real niggas. Kings should not be called niggas. You talk about setting up black men to get robbed. And we all know with robbery, death is right behind it. And you're talking about uh, hitting licks or setting people up for licks. That's destroying a black life. If someone dies in the uh, com uh, commits of a robbery, that falls on you, Megan the Stallion. I don't get how you're talking about this black attorney general from Kentucky. This black attorney general is an educated black man. He is the first black attorney general in a red state, and he also is a black Republican. Maybe that's why he gets shit, because he bangs the red and you don't like it, because you're a puppet to the left. Megan the Stallion, you're the one that Malcolm X was talking about. When Malcolm asks us, who taught us to hate ourselves, it's a move from right uh, from racist white Americans to people like you, our own kinfolk. You are who hates your skin. You are who hates the texture of your hair. Shit, you've talked about having the best weaves that don't tangle. You don't embrace the combs. You don't embrace the brushes. You don't embrace 
the fucking struggle because you've made it. You hate the black man and the black woman so much that you're willing to promote the destruction of black America for nigga pennies. Just because you're contributing to the destruction of black America, I would like to welcome you to Trash Bag Tuesday. Welcome. You trash bag, bro. You literally tore down a black successful man. I've been said this. We praise the street shit as black people of America too fucking much. We have successful black Americans that make it out the hood, that make something of themselves. But here we are. We praise the ghetto street life. We promote the bullshit, the ignorance, and then we listen to the people promoting it as if they're some type of fucking role models. You're no fucking role model. You're no fucking activist. I don't need you on Saturday Night Live preaching to me about the salvation of black America, preaching to me about how a black man who made it fucked your life up or fucked America's life up. That black man made it. He had a tough choice. And if you ask me, he did his fucking job. So making the stallion, you need to sit back, shut the fuck up, and listen to somebody. You trash back, bro. Yeah, you're fucking trash back for that. And you're an educated woman. You're very fucking educated. Everyone gave you sympathy over uh, uh, the Tory Lanez incident where you got your, your foot shot. You should have known right then and there about the street life. The shit's a myth. Like uh, 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 Troy Ab said, the street life's a myth. Everyone snitches. Everyone's a, a, about that rat life. You included, Megan Thee Stallion. So once again, welcome to Trash Bag Tuesday for promoting the ignorance and the destruction of black America. Welcome. You trash bag, bro. Yeah, this one got me a little heated. I didn't like that. I didn't like it. All right, everyone. If you like what I'm saying, like what I'm doing, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.